Are we doing a Disney episode, right? I brought in some Disney nerds and I told them we're gonna see some happy Disney moments, but I lied to them. And I'm actually gonna show them the 12 darkest Disney moments I could find. I'm so confused. What's happening? So let's see how long it takes for them to find out. Oh no! <laughs> you are sick! I was gonna go full cosplay for like this episode. This is Dog Tales. I am a Disney fan. Hell yeah. Same. Let's yes. do it. Okay. I'm so excited. Hmm, Hunchback of Notre Dame. I feel like the last time I saw this movie, I was like a single digit, you know, like my age. <laughs> Day out. No, like this is like, wow. Ugh. It's so sad. Yeah. <laughs> I feel so bad for him. There's not even a point in this movie, if I remember correctly, that it just gets better. Did he just say, now that's ugly? Yeah. And then it just gets worse. I do think that Disney used to be way more brutal than it is now. We were watching this as like kids, you know? Yeah, like, right? That's just so crazy. Oh my god, I feel so bad. I think I knew why I didn't watch this movie recently. What? <laughs> like, how? Like, yeah. this is heavy stuff. Oh, man. Oh. oh. This is brutal. <gasps> yeah, I wonder if they're gonna make a live action version of this. Oh, I, I will die. I can't take that. <laughs> Why did you start with that? I'll be I honest, think I think I... I, I remember being pretty scared of this movie. Why did you just do that to me? That is so sad. You opened with like the emotional, yeah, like, like, the, like, like the power ballad, and then it's like mean. Yeah. People are so mean. Leave the poor guy alone. I know that I watched it, but it didn't really like make a huge dent in my like childhood, I guess. The severity of <laughs> backflip specifically. It was a roller coaster to say the yeah. least. One day out there is such a power ballad. Like mm. he's coming, like it's a strength. He's like, I don't know, it just feels so like powerful. And then it's just like, and he's getting beat up by the yeah, crowd. I, Everyone's so mean. They are. He does want to live in civilization, but they shouldn't treat him like that. Why would you treat somebody like that that's like singing their hearts out and just wants to be loved? That's crazy. What then, who's next? Oh, oh, oh. Pick me, pick me. That's Bruce. Yes, the Bruce the, the shark, which was named after the Jaws the shark. Bit. Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I love Bruce. I'm Dory. Yeah. Uh, Hi, Dory. Dory. Oh my god. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> hey. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I hated this scene. Oh my god, I'm gonna like, I hate you, Baba. If you loved the scene, you're a As monster. As a kid. And, and, oh my god. These are like the saddest parts of Disney movies. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was Finding, finding Nemo. Nemo. Come on Finding now. Nemo. The first clip for Finding Nemo loved it. You know, love yeah. Bruce, mm -hmm. uh, fish are friends, not food. But the second part was when Nemo's mom dies and all of his siblings. <sighs> the That's... stupid little fish fish thing. It's a barracuda, yo. Ah. You want me to cry. I think I, I have a feeling what you're doing here, Bob, and you're like trying to like get us into the like, oh, 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 and then like you're, I don't know, stabbing my heart. <laughs> I would never gaslight anybody what? ever. Is... <laughs> I don't think I fully understood what was going because I was probably like four, mm -hmm. but re-watching it, that's so depressing. I feel like it's it was sad the first time I watched it, and it was sad just now watching it. It's just sad. <laughs> Are we about to watch a bunch of sad Disney clips? I mean, he lost like a hundred of his kids. Yeah. You know what I mean? One left, you know? Oh man. Jeez. You can't have like an iconic Disney movie without having somebody's parents dying, no, yeah. somebody getting lost. I really don't want to watch Bambi's mom die. Is no, that going to I happen? Have, you know I've never seen that movie specifically for that reason. I want to kill that barracuda. Nemo grows up and he's like one-armed and he's got like an <laughs> eye path. He gets trained by Bruce the shark and he's yeah. like, you're now a, uh, an honorary shark, mate, right? <laughs> I will say I'm not used to watching those heartbreaking moments out of context mm -hmm. and just going straight into yeah. it. Are you guys ready for the next clip? Sure. Come in this morning and get bummed out. Cool. <laughs> I might need a tissue box where this is leading. Huh? I know. One of them dies, right? Baby monkey. Hey! Tarzan! You're no, they lose their baby and then Tarzan becomes their baby. Ah! That's such a good shot. I love it. Disney does a musical montage better than anybody else. I'm remembering Tarzan, the Disney movie and Broadway musical. And there's been so many Tarzan remakes, nothing compares to this original Disney one. Okay. Heart flutters watching this, man. Oh, I love this movie. No, don't do it! Mm. You always! <laughs> Why are you making this video? Oh no, they save, they save them. Yeah, here we go. They don't let nothing happen, so this is like redemption right here. Wow. Oh, bruh. What? Oh no! <laughs> you are sick! 
really don't understand why you're doing this. No! Oh my god! The freaking cries of that gorilla is so yeah. sad! <laughs> No, I thought that was another part. That you are sick. I can't do this. I, why? I don't remember. I thought he got away. I did too. So then I'm I've... like, you know, Disney is not dark like this anymore. Do the animals speak in this? Yeah, yeah, yeah they okay. talk. They, but, but they like talk in animals, so like the humans right. don't understand them. Right. You know? I don't know, Disney. Just stick to natural causes. I hate these, the murders. <laughs> stick to your natural causes. <laughs> I feel like this was very pivotal. Like Phil Collins kind of shaped my childhood. For sure. Wow. Tarzan, oh Brother Bear. Did, yes. Who remembers Brother, Brother, Bear. Brother, Brother Bear? Bear? Who remembers Bear. that Bear. movie? Uh, no. Oh, good. Ah. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm ready to be sad. That's I'm, I'm not ready. Disprove what we saw. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Tiana, right? Yeah, Princess and the Frog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What happens bad in this? But I don't okay. recall this. He's got friends on the other side. Oh my god, I literally don't remember. I remember his girlfriend's name, Evangeline. Does uh, she get lost? I'll let you watch. Who? The Firefly? Please, no, please. <laughs> no. Oh my god. <laughs> what is about to happen? He's sacrificing himself. <gasps> oh yeah. Oh no. no. Oh my god! Julie. Stop! Oh. He... oh, the squish. He didn't do it. Goodbye, Ray. Did he do it? Yes. The fact that he can just be ended nasty? by under someone's shoe, like that is the most like undignified way to die. Like you are literally under someone's shoe. Sad. I think that's gonna be my answer for most of these. Yeah, like the mo these are definitely the most dramatic scenes yeah. from all of these not, movies, not for like sure. The, and then his bestie came, like that was sad though. Like, I know. He was like, he was like, he was like this. Where's Ray? <laughs> I experience it like it's my first time watching the movie one oh. again. I feel everything, everything. Oh. There's a scene that we did not watch here today where his love, who passed on earlier, Evangeline, is his star. So when he goes up to heaven, there's two stars because they're together, so. So this is not actually a Disney musical. No, You don't not. say. It's you guys are on the 12 darkest Disney moments. Great. Ah. You are cold-blooded. Yeah, we're getting through it. We're, we're working through it, you know? What happened to Oh. Oh, Pinocchio. Old school. Yeah, this what was spooky. Oh, this one was a scary one. Jackass. <laughs> <laughs> that was cursing him. This is so sad, and he starts crying for his mom. Oh my god. This is actually kind of frightening. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't the origin of Pinocchio kind of like weird? Oh, that is really frightening. They're turning into donkeys, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's. Oh my god. But why did they turn into donkeys? I used to actually believe this. I think they got like bewitched or something. I don't remember. Does he not know he's a donkey? Well, he does now because he looked in the mirror. It's been so long since I've seen this movie. Do you want to end up like Pinocchio? Oh. Oh. That's so sad. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Those are the things that parents just tell you to get you to comply. Oh, Jiminy Cricket to the rescue. He's too late, all right. <laughs> What's going on? He just got a tail. The way that just shot out. <laughs> That's a little spooky, yeah. What did I just watch there, honestly? Well, I'm just like, I think I need to watch that movie again because I'm having a little trouble you don't remember that? processing what just happened. <laughs> the tail. Yeah, the way that tail just, uh... <laughs> No, it was just so like. It was abrupt. It was, it was very abrupt. abrupt. It was abrupt. Wow. So they were trying to scare us, like, don't do drugs. In the Jonathan Taylor Thomas version, which I don't know if that's actually a Disney remake or not, but they like go on a ride and drink water. I feel like there are like three movies I remember when as a kid that made me very uncomfortable, and that was one of them. Pinocchio no. is not a feel good movie. I would say every version of Pinocchio is creepy. My aunt asks, we were at school all day. Is this how to train your dragon? No, this is um, Big Hero 6. No. Big Hero 6, right? Yeah. yeah. Big Hero 6. Yeah, this is a cute clip. Out a window. So Baymax yeah. is drunk. Battery's low, yeah. I love this movie. Because he's got a problem. It's just like being like extra sleepy, you know? He's totally deflated. You know, I love Baymax. Oh! <laughs> that transition is... I don't love that scene. I have never been that drunk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, some bad... Something's on fire. Opening scene. Boom. 
Tadashi, no! The parrot's about to go into a burning building. But it's a, this is also like, it's not as sad because it's a superhero movie. Someone's no, don't movie. do it! Nah. Oh. Nah, dog. Oh. Don't go. They always this tell you, it doesn't matter what's in there. Do not go into a yes. burning building! This is kind of reminding me of like. Oh. Oh Whoa. my, that is. This, this is always the next shot. There's no, I don't even remember that. I'm guessing his older brother does not make it out. This, this is a messed up scene. <laughs> Cut to him two years later waking up in his in cold sweats. This is some some sad Disney stuff right here. And at least like that wasn't a painful death, you know? Like it just was an explosion and then done. <laughs> Why? <laughs> yeah, this is where I admit I haven't seen Big Hero 6. Clearly they still have a traumatic death. So Disney hasn't gone yeah. You know, yeah. they're still they're, still they're, they're, not, they're not straying too far from the. It's like a big white marshmallow guy. No, I mean he he built him in his house, probably to give, reconnect with his brother. It's kind of reminding me of like Mulan after the war, and oh, like yeah. everyone's just like, what is oh, like yeah. Like, yeah, girl, we're fighting, fighting for. Yeah. Yes, literally that, and it's like and the doll, like the yes, little the doll, doll in the it's snow. Like, with the hat with and then the, the doll, it's like very similar. Don't go into a burning building. Don't. So many people go to save their pets, which is I understand because my pet is my life, but go into a burning building, you will most likely die. And I remember being so sad watching this movie for the first time. This episode's great. Disney's crazy for that. Yeah. And then have eight-year-olds watch it. Yeah. The more I think about it, with the level of burning that building was, that was a severe lapse in judgment. Yeah. The whole thing was engulfed. I made a lot of stupid decisions before 25, too. Thankfully, not into a burning building. I wonder if his brother got in that burning building slide. Ah. I shouldn't have came in here. As a palate cleanser, let's go watch some deaths for people that deserve them. Let's go. Oh, ooh, okay. Nice, nice. Revenge time. Uh, yeah. Oh, like okay. Gaston. Let's go, right. revenge. I'm with that. He's I want you. Thumper! Oh. Oh. Hopper. Oh. Hopper. Kevin Spacey, right? Yeah. He deserves him. Throwback, too. Oh my gosh. Thumper's Try the em. rabbit from Bambi. Really? <laughs> you know, they call me oh. Jay Bird. My family calls me Jay Bird, so I just feel like I saved the day. I'm very connected. This one's like a good death. You know? Oh my gosh. Get him. Get him. I feel like I remember this looking a lot more realistic. Oh, what do you oh. got from? You got eaten by a bird. Yeah, man. Oh, he's getting fed to some babies. Oh, he fed him to his babies. So this looks like amazing then. Right. I will say that's a pretty cute way to die. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. Also, that was aggressive. That was, <laughs> that was really man. aggressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The little chick. Oh. They're pretty cute. You know, if you're going to get eaten by something, I would want to be eaten by tiny yeah, little this is I don't know, man. That's so pretty that. traumatizing. <laughs> and he's like <laughs> looking into the eyes of the thing that's about to consume him. I mean, very deserved, right? I mean, he's yeah. literally like a straight up villain the whole movie. Did he kind of play it like when it's the villain, though? They don't get burned in buildings, they get little chicklets. It'd be terrifying. Yeah, that really is awful. The bird is hungry. But it's like the circle of life. It's the circle of life. That movie came out when I was like five or six, and even then I was like, yeah, get that boy, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, this dude sucks. I think he's mean. He's very physical. Mm -hmm. He was like grabbing him by like, oh my God, I would have been so upset. That's why I think like the timing of it was perfect. It's he might be just like taking advantage of a, a capitalist society. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> just like real Beautiful. life. This isn't the end oh, of it. I love I the Incredibles. Get... The cape. I love it. Foisted on his own cape. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No capes. No way. Love that scene. That's why. Oh, oh. But this, Sorry, Syndrome. I feel for this dude. That one. Was anyone else in that plane? That's right, they jumped out. Emotional trauma. The oh, baby. Oh, I love that scene. His idol rejected him, and that clip is incredibly humanizing. I don't think he deserved to die. I think he needed therapy. Yes, exactly. And that was, that, was, that is very true. Do I don't remember it being like that. It was a, that, it's a lot more That's terrible yeah. when I watched it the first time. Yeah. I think that's actually like yeah. my favorite Disney scene. It just made me so happy. Oh, finally, they got him. And he needs help. He's like the kind of guy that buys a big truck because they're insecure <laughs> about themselves. Like, how are these, these characters okay after that? Like, do they not need therapy? I mean, he made oh, like yeah. 30 death war machines. He needs some deep therapy yeah. to work on his, his needs, issues yeah. of, of abandonment and rejection. Some... Acknowledge mm -hmm. me. It's the best Fantastic Four movie that's been made so far. <laughs> Seriously. Titan AE. Wait, what is this? It's uh, Atlantis. I confuse those two a lot. I haven't seen this one. Oh. This is um, Atlantis. Atlantis. It's a good one. This is a really good movie, actually. Oh my god. Oh. 
So what is that like blue stuff? Yeah. See? Oh my god! When it does this, they always come back. Oh, this movie is awesome. I love this movie. What? Ew. Oh. He looks he's pretty little, sad just, down there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you said he was gonna come back! The helicopter blades. Is he about to get shredded? <laughs> what a crazy scene. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> Like one of my favorite parts about this movie is they have the whole like team montage, right? This is like one of those like heist movies. I know that there <laughs> is a group of like Milo Thatch stands who think he's very sexy. Milo and, Thatcher, right? In like an educational, like sexy professor kind of way. I don't know much about the plot. Hot. I see, yeah, yeah. Hot. It's like I haven't seen Atlantis since I was like a kid, but uh holy sh that is graphic. <sighs> Oh my gosh, a little mermaid. No, this one was evil. Ooh. Oh, wah, wah. Stab her. <laughs> oh. He popped her. She's a little. She's a, she's a over villain, the top. villain. Yeah, she was yeah. over the top. You know the balloons when you like go, it's like. <laughs> yeah. What if she started like flying all over the place? Take and they attention. took that b down. Ursula is. Gone. She dead. Is, did she deserve that? Yes. Of course. You're getting stabbed right through the stomach with a ship? Yeah. So she took Ariel's voice by tricking mm -hmm. her into signing a binding mm -hmm. contract. And she didn't honor the contract. She was trying to manipulate the whole time. She had it coming for her. Because yeah. she like took her voice and like that's not nice. She wanted to marry the prince. Didn't she try to kill somebody at the very end? She stole someone's voice. And she stole someone's man. And basically like her identity. Like she wanted to become her. Well, she's a witch, right? Yeah. She, she literally lives in a cave with two eels. Every time she was about to get the voice back or this falling in love, she would do something like, yeah. you know what I mean? Send the eels. Or just, I don't know. Send in the eels. Just... Also, she was like keeping a bunch of souls in her little lair. Ariel made an agreement, but then Ursula was just not very transparent about it. I think I saw it on VHS, which I know is crazy oh for me. There was a penis Thanks. on the VHS cover, if you'll remember. So a little dark Disney fact for you. I think I've seen something about that. Yeah. As a final pal cleanser, where I'm just going to show you one of my favorite scenes from Disney. Yay! Yay! Got a Yo, you know that this is like my favorite movie? Okay, but he is still a rat. The animation is just so good. He's clean. <laughs> he, he washes his hands. I think there's a scene where he, he washes, washes his hands. Hand. Yeah. One, uh, Remy, Remy. Oh, the music, too. The music is so inspirational. It just makes you want to yeah. cook stuff, yes, you know? Yes, yes. Crazy. Green special. onion, oh. cilantro. Was mm. that a bit of fine? Like, I just want to be cooking this right now. Like, can we get a... Yeah, let's get a pot in. <gasps> the hell? Wow, I knew you'd do this. I was going to say anything. Oh. You know. I don't remember that. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I just noticed. What kind of psycho does that? Yeah, it's like, we were getting a little too comfortable. Like, Straight to the rat traps. He's cute. Dude. There's some rats that make pets, I, but I don't want any rat cooking my food. What if it's like the best food you've ever had? You what? would never have to cook a day in your life ever mm. again. No. And that's the worst scene in Ratatouille. Yeah, the worst scene. Let's be 1000 though. What is your first reaction if a rat popped out in your house? I would you be frightened. I would not kill it though. I would try to get it outside. Though. That's your favorite moment <laughs> in any Disney moment? movie? Really? That's it? Wow. My favorite scene in this movie is the one where he feeds his brother for the first time. And he's like, don't hork it down, right? But it's like, <laughs> you, know, if, you know, if he wants to cook for me and I yeah. provide him like oh, yeah. a little like room and board kind of a yeah, thing, no, I'm, I'm, it's a good deal. Yo, I would make his spot so fire. You guys are out of your mind. And I sort of look like Linguini too. Yes, you do. You do. Like, I I have like tears. Like, <sighs> like they're coming. Yeah. Hey, I think he's turning into like our villain. Like, I, I don't like this. <laughs> yeah, I didn't care for this. The Ratatouille one was deep, dog. You cut me. Yeah. You cut me hard, man. Oh yeah, but God. I want to know what goes through that head of yours. Some of these <laughs> moments, out of context, feel even darker than they do in dark. the actual like film's progression. I've come to expect this sort of thing from you, Bobbin. Yeah, you know, I'll believe you. Uh, that was rough. I'm clearly gullible. You're an arbiter of chaos. <laughs> Do you like fashion? Did you say fashion? We are launching a brand new fashion channel and it's called June Beam. We're so excited to see you. Make sure to keep an eye out. Bye. This is the worst dream ever. <laughs> like, oh. Oh man. I remember this, but I was like young, man. I was young when this, I remember watching this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> So better, oh. be wary.
Oh my gosh! And it's like they're just like holding it, like oh, I know, they're dangling it, with honey yeah. To, with, oh. 